Hi, I'm Dr. John LaPuma, and welcome to the ChefMD video blog. This week's question comes to us from Helen in Henderson, Nevada. Helen writes, I've heard that drinking can help the brain and the heart. How much can I drink? Um, Helen, the, well, drinking can help the brain and the heart. It can also hurt the brain and the heart. So you, you do have to be careful about how much you drink. All alcohol raises HDL or healthy cholesterol. And people over 60 who drink have been found to have a lower risk for Alzheimer's disease. This in a study of 15 years, 28,000 people who had light to moderate drinking, which in that study was defined between one and 28 drinks per week, which is a huge range. And most people recommend a drink for women per day and two for men per day, as long as you can drink, which means that you don't have liver disease or a history of alcoholism. Um, and a drink, of course, is a five ounce glass of wine or 12 ounce glass of beer or an ounce and a half, ounce and a half glass of spirits. Compared with people who don't drink at all, men who drink uh, reduce their risk for dementia by 45% and women by 27%. So your, your point about drinking for good brain health actually may have real credibility. You, of course, have to weigh this against the presence or risk for other diseases. Women at high risk for breast cancer ought not to drink because alcohol is the one substance that has shown, been shown to increase that risk further. Same thing with addiction, same thing with liver disease. You might try my Muscles in White Wine and Garlic. It takes 23 minutes start to finish. It's less than 300 calories. It's a one-pot dish that's very easy. And of course, you can drink the leftover wine. The alcohol evaporates from the dish. Make it, and if you like it, teach it to someone else and leave me a comment about how you did it on ChefMD.com. Thanks for writing, Helen. I'm Dr. John LaPuma for ChefMD.